This is the end street grade crossing located on the UP Geneva sub in Galt, Illinois. Here we have two older gated signals each with LED lights and one e-bell. This is nobody looking north, we can look here at the southern signal. Got 12 by 24 inch electric text LEDs and older Satran frames. Got a single sided WCH base. Side view lights with a Satran junction box. We got a WCH style 4 gate mechanism. Hoping that term catches on. Here's the uh, dot tag, dot number is 175184L. Back view of the lights. The gate here has the older striping with four inch figure LEDs. One of the few older gate stripings left on the Geneva. Here's the back view of the southern signal. There's a really bungalow in the northeast quadrant. Grade is all concrete. Track view facing west towards Morrison, Fulton, and Clinton, Iowa. And track view facing east towards Sterling, Dixon, Rochelle, and Chicago. So I believe these signals are older WCH signals. Uh, they got older WCH bases, but newer WCH gate mechanisms. They might have had say train mechanisms before, I'm not sure. Um, but whatever the case, as per usual, these signals will fall soon to UP's Siemens signal replacement program. Um, this, and I believe the crossing down there, will get replaced soon. That one doesn't have conduit yet, but there are markings on the road for it. So it probably won't be too long until conduit appears there. See all around there. So, I'm going to try and get this signal filmed these, this crossing films soon. There's a green for a westbound down there at the crossovers. So that should be here pretty soon. It'll probably be one of the afternoon Z trains. Actually, if you notice that bridge down there, that bridge was installed in 2005 after a coal train, I think, derailed on the old bridge. It's one of the older uh, truss style bridges that CW used. And coal train derailed on that, destroyed the old bridge, and they installed a new one. Kind of sad to see a piece of history like that go in such a horrific way, but that's what happened. And now we got more CNW history disappearing with all the crossing signals. Plus, I think the remaining searchlights are going to be going soon. Uh, at Maple Park, at Cortland, Machusa, and Nelson. So, if you like searchlight signals, you better get out there soon and film those or photograph them. There's Norby now looking south to get a look here at the northern signal. This has a GSC bell up top, most likely a Type 2. It's definitely older. There were a couple of GS Type 1s on this line out in Morrison, but those are all gone now. Got more 12 by 24 inch Electrotex LEDs and Satran frames. And a WCH base. Oh, westbound. Here's a side view of the lights with a Satran junction box and a newer WCH gate mechanism, which I dubbed Style 4 because it's got the newer logo on it. I'm going to be making a page soon on the Crossing website explaining the different styles. And they're terms that I've come up with, but I hope they catch on. You know, similar to how Mike Hickok called, referred to the GS types. That was him who created the GS type uh, naming scheme. Back view of the lights. And this gate has a newer striping with NEG clear LEDs. One of the few older crossings I've seen with these. So soon everything on this line will probably have those. UP continues the signal replacements. Sure. I think there's a scrapyard down there. I think that's what that noise is. And back view of the northern signal. Westbound should be here pretty soon. We'll get these signals filmed. And then should be one of the Z trains and I'll get the other Z train somewhere else. Maybe down at the other street, even though I have a video of that one already, but could use a better one. 
So anyways, this has been the end of street grade crossing.